Coming up on this edition of the HGTV Morning Announcements, recognition of a fantastic teacher, a run to carry the legacy of the fallen, and a great test of knowledge. The news starts now. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, FHS. I'm the man with the plan, Dallas. And I'm Mo, master of choking FCs because of faulty hardware. Anyway, for lunch in lines one and two, we're gonna have chicken and noodles. Line three, chicken patty. Line four, pork nachos and pull up our pizza. And as usual, line five is closed. Now to sports with Nick. Thanks, Mo. The Frankfurt Varsity golf team was defeated by a score of 165 to 191 no. yesterday by Kokomo. Sasha Perch led the dogs with a 45. Drew Grismer shot a 49. Ramsey Mitchell a 50. And Reese Mitchell a 52, combined for the final score. The JV team competed in an exhibition match with the Cats. Sam Wilson led the dogs with a 50 on a very soggy course. Trevor Meeks carded a 59. A 59 and freshman Jesse Reed and Carter Wilson both shot a 55 and a 63, respectively. The Hot Dogs will travel to Battleground Golf Course to take on Lafayette Jeff on Wednesday afternoon. The Frankfurt Boys Tennis Team is hosting a dodgeball tournament fundraiser. The fundraiser will be May 5th at Frankfurt Middle School. The doors will open at 1 o'clock and the tournament will be kicking off at 1.30. Teams can have up to eight players and there is a $2 entry fee for both players and spectators. There will be a bracket for grades 6 through 8 and one bracket for grades 9 through 12. There is no gender category, just age groups, and the tournament will be double elimination. If you are interested in signing up, you can pick up a flyer in the bookstore. That's all for me. Back over to you, Dallas. Ladies and gentlemen, you have until May 1st to register for Strides for Stacy. For $10, you, you can get a bracelet and a, t and a sticker. For $20, you can get a bracelet, sticker, and a t-shirt. And the same goes for if you pay $30 to register. Please fill out the Google form sent by Mrs. McDonald to nominate yourself or your classmates for prom king and queen. The Google form will close on Friday, May 26th. Enter the radio and TV caught up with staff and students about this year's Teacher of the Year. 2018-2019 Teacher of the Year is Deborah Peart. She is an outstanding teacher and is appreciated by everyone. The 100% deserves it. She busts her butt for these kids every day. I always see her in here helping out where she can. She gets pulled around everywhere by whatever she needs to do by administration. I always see her after school helping students out in the library. She, she 100% deserves it. Help. I think she deserves it. She works very really hard. Uh, me, like, I really didn't pay attention to class, but she, when I didn't, she would help me out. Yeah. As far as being Teacher of the Year, I work with an amazing group of teachers. Every day I see teachers who go above and beyond to help out students. So I feel really honored and thankful to be named from this group of amazing, wonderful, dedicated, caring teachers. Personally, I can vouch for her. She helps me out a lot. Support Crash tonight by eating at Dairy Queen from 4 to 9 p.m. I know you like those blizzards and burgers and chicken strips and iced coffee. I know where I'm going after school. Anyway, uh, drum major auditions will continue today from four to five in the band room. And academic bowls tonight, and for the first time that I can think of, it's actually being held here, like right there in the cafeteria. Anyway, if you're part of the team, Mr. Fortner could use some help with setup beforehand. So if you could, lend a hand. And make sure you've got your calendar clear for next week because the musical is almost here. We, as in the company, not HGTV, will be performing Leap of Faith. A lot of work has gone into it, and we certainly don't want it to go to waste, so come on in, have a seat, watch it, love it. 
Show nights will be on the 24th, 26th, and 27th at 7 p.m. each night. Tickets are $5 for K through 12 and $8 for adults. And in world news, as you've likely heard, the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris was ravaged by an inferno yesterday, causing the landmark spire to collapse and take the roof with it. The fire blazed into the night, and as of right now, firefighters are still on scene to put out any hot spots should they flare up again. As the cathedral was constructed in 1260, the building is largely comprised of wood, and due to the fire, there is now great concern that even more of the building could fall in the near future. French President Emmanuel Macron has pub publicly stated that the cathedral will be eventually rebuilt. That's it for the hot for this hot dog news broadcast. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more news and updates. This has been the man with a plan, Dallas, and this has been Mo. Before we go, I'd like to say hi to my grandma Shirley, who, through means unbeknownst to me, found the announcements. I guess I told a cousin or something. Anyway, we're out of here. Peace.